Pickles and welcome back to another video. So today I know I'm a bit late but I want to film my September TBR. I think I read like three books which is quite good for me because I'm not like a really fast reader and a lot of the times I lose motivation. So I think three books is definitely a good number for me. So the first book I read is actually the third part of the From Blood and Edge series which is called The Crown of Gilded Bones by Jennifer L. Armentrout. And oh my god, let me tell you, I'm in love with the From Blood and Edge series. It's one of my all-time favorite book series and if you have not started reading it, this is your call. Definitely go and read the series. It's so good and it definitely reminds me of the atmosphere and style of A Quarter. So if you're a fan of the Court of Thorns and Roses series, this is the next series you should read. I thought after like finishing A Court of Silver Flames, um, I know there are more books upcoming, but I thought like I will never find another fantasy romance series that is as good, but trust me, this one is definitely as good as A Quarter and I just highly recommend it. So this one has been five out of five stars for me. I think I will just summarize the From Blood and Ash series in general because I do not want to spoil anyone that has just not arrived at the third book. So I think I will just try to summarize the first book. So the first book is called From Blood and Ash and it's basically about the main protagonist Poppy who is called the Maiden and she is basically like forced by the royalty to um, wear this veil and no one is allowed to see how she looks like and basically no one is allowed to interact with her and she is like really limited in her freedom. She's like not allowed to walk on the castle grounds by herself. She's not allowed to talk to anyone. Nobody is allowed to talk to her. So she's basically just really excluded from the rest of the world. And it's sad to her that she is like the chosen one who's called the maiden and she needs to stay pure for her accession. But she does not know what the accession is about. She just knows that it's a great honor to be chosen by the gods. But Poppy is definitely not only like this pure maiden, she has also a really adventurous and curious side to her. And um, this side is provoked even more when a new god is assigned to her, which is called Hog, and he like um, brings out even more of the um, fearless and adventurous side of Poppy. And he basically shows her how beautiful freedom can be and he brings her to questioning why she has to be this pure maiden and why she is like so restricted and always controlled and no one is telling her what she can expect from the accession and um, yeah they then try to solve the mysteries and all the questions that are rising. So if you did not start reading this I highly highly recommend this series. It's definitely more of a slow burn romance um, but I think Okota is like also a bit of slow burn but this one is definitely extremely slow burn so if you're not a fan of it maybe that's not the right book for you but if you love slow burn romance, if you love intense world building, if you love also spicy books and spicy scenes this one is the right book for you. It also has like a extremely strong and fearless um, female protagonist which I do love. I love strong female leads so this one basically has everything you can wish for in a good book. The next book I read in September is Pumpkin Hearts by Rainbow Roll and Faith Erin Hicks which is a beautiful illustrated graphic novel and it's also the first graphic novel I ever read and I truly enjoyed the story, the characters, the humor. And I also really admire the illustration style. It's just such a cute fall read and I can highly recommend it to everyone. And I gave it four out of five stars, but I'm not sure if you can 100% rely on it because it has been my first graphic novel. Nevertheless, I think it's super cute. Is there anyone else who has liked to, to um, read up the names of the characters again of the books I read? Because if I like read a series like from Platinesh, which I really enjoyed and I read multiple books in a series, it's easy for me to like remember all the names. But if I read a standalone or if I read the first book in a series, it's really hard for me to memorize the names. So I usually have to look them up. Please tell me that I'm not the only one who does that. So this book is uh, about the two protagonists, Deja and Josie, and they are meeting up each year to work at the pumpkin patch together. And um, this year is the last year before they go to college, and um, Deja suggests that this is the last time they can like 
do all the fun activities and try all the yummy snacks on the pumpkin patch. And she also is trying to convince Josie to finally admit his feelings to his year-long crush. So this book definitely gives you all the full vibes. It's so cute and atmospheric, especially with the illustrations, of course. It has such a beautiful uh, written story and I really enjoyed the interactions between Josie and Deja because they are like totally different characters with totally different characteristics but they're still best friends and they are trying everything they can to make um, the other one happy and um, it's just a beautiful story about friendship and a beautiful story about experiencing something for the very last time and stepping into a new world and like stepping into a new part of your life and um, I really enjoyed that and also it has some really fun lines and usually I'm not the person who laughs a lot when reading books but this one actually had such great humor I really enjoyed it and I definitely recommend this to everyone who is searching for cozy and cute fall read. And the last book I read in September is The Maidens by Alex Michaelides. Not sure if I pronounced it right, probably not. And this is um, a murder mystery and it's definitely a dark murder mystery, full of dark academia vibes. And I really, really enjoyed that. It's perfect if you're searching for more spooky book. I gave this four out of five stars and I highly recommend it to everybody who's looking for a more spooky and mysterious, atmospheric book full of dark academia vibes for this fall. So The Maidens is basically about the protagonist, Mariana, who is a group therapist. And she one evening gets a call of her niece, Zoe, who is currently attending Cambridge University. And she is telling her aunt that one of her friends and also a student called Ivy is killed and that she suspects one of the professors of the university, namely Edward Fosker, to have killed her. Because Mariana is afraid that something will happen to Zoe, she immediately gets on a train and makes her way to Cambridge University, where she then tried to prove that Edward Fosker is a murderer and when she arrives there she gets in contact with the maidens who are like a society that um, is brought to life by the professor Edward Fosker and there are like some of his most like students and like most talented students in the secret society and like they call themselves the maidens because I think they are based off Greek a tragedy which is one of the subjects Edward Fosker is teaching at Cambridge University and in this book Mariana and her niece Zoe are trying to um, convince everybody else that Edward Fosker is guilty because he like has a really good alibi so it's definitely a book full of tension a book full of um, also reflection and like glimpses into the past of um, the main character. I think the author did a really great job by transporting the like dark academia and spooky atmospheres. And what I also really liked about this book is like, because Mariana, the protagonist, is a group therapist, she really tries to understand the psychology of the characters in the books and really tries to find an explanation or the reason behind how the characters are acting, especially how Edward Fosker is acting. So I really like this aspect of the book and it's something that I have not read before. So I highly recommend The Maidens to everyone who's searching for a spooky or mysterious read for the upcoming Halloween season. I really hope you enjoyed my September wrap up. Definitely let me know if I should do more wrap up videos and definitely let me know if I like did great or did not so great because I'm not the best person at summarizing books, but I think I get better with every video. So I will try to keep it up and I wish you a wonderful day wherever you are and hope you feel all the spooky and cozy vibes. Mm -hmm.